Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Over here at the, uh, sh actually at the, uh, I just, um, unloaded over here by that Cowboy Stadium. The ultraviolet yeah, unloaded back there. September 13th at 8 or very high. Oh, uh, man. Of Hold on. I'm going to roll up the window so y'all can hear me better. Yeah, so Jay Money has hit rough a rough patch, man. I have hit a rough patch, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Um, so I'm leasing for this flatbed company right now, and uh, bro, it shit is it's, it's pretty bad right now. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty bad, bro. Remember my last few videos on all that work I did, right? All those hours I put in. I made probably what? I made after my 85%, uh, right? I made five, a little over 5,000 gross. Took home two hundred dollars. Yep, two hundred dollars. Yeah, so uh long story short, I'm in Dallas right now, so you could probably understand why I'm here. <laughs> For real, man. Um, yeah, I was, you know, like, nah, bro, nah, all that, t all that, all those hours putting in, like, every day, sweaty, dirty, you can't even get to showers enough as much as you, as you need to run and, and, and flatbed in any way, you know what I mean, like, I honestly, like, like, I thought the money would be way better, you know what I mean, but, when fuel is this high and you're making 5000 and you only take home $200, running 58 miles per hour, that, that just tells you there's no money to be made. That That's like, me personally, I actually just had the weirdest thing happen to me yesterday too. I met this girl and, uh, and I saw her walking and she was a pretty girl, you know what I mean? So... I saw her walking with her bags in my room. At first, I'm thinking, mm, where is she going? Then I saw her again. I'm like, I'm going to go talk to her, see what's up. So then I talked to her, come to find out she was homeless and stuff, but out in the streets by herself. Um. So then, so I took her with me, got her a shower and all that good stuff. And, uh, was thinking about taking her on the road with me, but decided like she was, she was come to find out she was, uh, she was, she was, uh, I guess what's the best way to put it? She wasn't, um, she was on drugs and stuff. Like, I don't, I mean, she didn't really look like bad. She didn't look bad, but she, the road just wasn't going to be for her. You know what I mean? Cause I let her know, like, you're not gonna have these things if you come with me on the road, like, you know what I mean? And, uh, and no, I did not sleep with her. Uh, I just felt like I couldn't even bring myself to do it because I felt like I'd just be taking advantage of her, you know what I mean? So I just, you know, I don't even have a lot of money, but I gave her a couple dollars and told her, you know, I hope you do the right thing with it. You know, if you like, I can take you to a, um, a detox center. I've been homeless before, I understand, but I didn't. I, I I always had a vehicle, so I slept in my car. I never had to sleep in an abandoned house, which is what she was doing. And I hated to send her back to that situation, but her focus was, was on what she felt she needed, which I'm sure if you ever experienced um, Percocets and stuff like that, then you understand, like, there's, you know what I mean? like. Percocets over everything, you know what I mean? There's just, just 
there's nothing you can do about that. And I, I've done enough research on that to understand when someone is on that drug that there's nothing you can do with them. That drug is going to, unless they want to stop, period. You know what I mean? So I understood that. So I gave her a few dollars, got her Uber, and, you know, told her, you know, I hope I wish the best for you, you know. But anyway, yeah. So I know I can survive off $100 a week because I, I don't have anyone depending on me. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be moving on, bro. There's, I mean, to make $5,000 gross and only get $200, that just, I mean, in the market, I haven't even made over 6000 in my whole month with this company. Not even once one week every time it's the same thing now i know he's trying and i can i got that low board on my phone so i can see that it's bad you know what i mean the market is bad um but every time it starts the same way bro we're starting in a very bad market but you know we're gonna we're starting in a very bad oh my, oh my god bro. but you know what i mean i can i can you know tough it out until um i definitely got some good opportunities um my main opportunity i'm just waiting on a truck to become available so that's going to be the one i'm going to go with because it's, it's a big company um they have solid rates like their rates aren't going to go up or down they got contracted rates so you know you're still going to get the contracted rates 100 fuel surcharge which means i get a discount on my fuel completely and uh you know um from everyone that i've ever spoke with there like people don't leave this company like they come and they stay for years and years and years and they don't leave you know what i mean which is why i'm having the issue of getting a truck right now so um he actually offered me two weeks ago hey man if i can get you an orientation are you really ready to come right now i was like nah you know not right now man i need to at least make a few good checks you know what i mean and then my next check was five hundred dollars my next check was two hundred dollars i'm like, all right man i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready man let's get this let's get this ball rolling man so we can start making some money again bro um but yeah man so that shit is uh um it sucks but you know it's just a part of the business bro like the dude i'm working for is a good dude you know what i mean like uh and uh the dispatcher is a cool dude as well you know what i mean but to be putting in hours on hours of flatbed and tarping and strapping and, and and unstrapping and tarping and getting multiple loads where you got to tarp and then untarp, tarp it back up, then drop off the second load. And then to still only take home $200, bro, it's crazy to me. So, yeah, so I'm going to be hopefully getting that call today that he has my truck ready because uh, I'm definitely about to... um go ahead and take this bad boy back man for sure uh but and if i gotta wait until they give me a truck ready then that's what i gotta do man i just gonna have to take two i like i like this trip that i'm just now finishing it's probably gonna pay me like a hundred dollars and i probably and i made like five thousand dollars but i'm probably only gonna get a hundred dollars because if they would have took all the fuel i paid for last week I would have had a negative, like, two, $300 check. And she didn't take it out. And I saw that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, bro. I wonder if she do that on accident or what? She's just like, damn, like, if I take this fuel, he's not going to have it. He's going to have a negative check. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I fully expect him to take it out on my next check. So I expect my next check to be, like, $100, bro. For $5,000, girls. $100, bro. Something like that. Well, because obviously it's going to be less than 5000 after the 85%, right? So that's what I'm thinking, bro. But it's pretty rough right now. Um, definitely going to be sitting back, you know what I mean? And uh, just chilling and um, grinding out through this phase, man. And, uh, I mean, it definitely ain't nothing, you know what I mean? I'm definitely going to get through it for sure. But, uh, you know what I mean? Just... It's just the trucking industry right now, bro. That's why so many people are shutting down because it just doesn't make sense to keep driving. You know what I mean? Especially if you have someone depending on you as well. So, yeah, man. But anyway, I'm about to drop off this last load. I brought, I got it here yesterday, and uh, they the crane broke, so 
they gave me extra four hundred dollars, so that should help with some maybe. Maybe I have a couple more hundred dollars than I expect to have. But uh this low was just just low was just crazy from the start. I go pick it up, then they load the wrong stuff on there. The dude who was loading me on there just left. And then I went like two hours without anything happening. So I'm like, what's going on? Go up there and uh and then they're like, oh, okay, oh, sorry. He he just left. He didn't tell anybody anything. And then um, and, uh, and then they were like, oh, well, we loaded the wrong stuff, so you got to come back tomorrow. And it's just, this happens, like, all on every load, bro. It's always the same thing, something. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, like, the load before when I had to, and I was like, the last video, and I was like, oh, man. And, and then they were talking about I had a hole in my tarp, so they weren't going to be able to. Or then they got some tape and all that good stuff. But, you know, <clears throat> so that worked out. But, um, yeah, flatbed isn't for me, bro. I don't like it. I don't. If I'm going to get paid the same money as a dry van, I'd rather do a dry van. So, um, definitely going to be going back to dry van for sure, bro. No more flatbed for me. Now, I did flatbed in the oil field, but everything was straps. I wasn't having to carry chains, do chain, chain everything. I wasn't having to tarp. I wouldn't have to untarp. I wouldn't have to do any of that stuff. So, hopefully I get that call today, man, that um that they, that, that they have a truck ready for me. Because as soon as I get that call, bro, I'm, I'm deadhead and straight to wherever I need to take this truck back to. And we're going to turn this bad boy in, man. Because this it doesn't make sense, bro. It just doesn't make sense right now. Especially with flatbed. I, I, I mean, I, I've never made a $200 check. Not even at Stevens, bro. Not even at Steven. And I'm getting 85% of the load. So why, how am I only having a $200 check? But that's because my expenses, you know what I mean? I guess my truck payment being like $800, insurance, and then plus uh, they take out 250 for, um, what do you call it? For truck maintenance, you know what I mean? So I guess if you add the truck maintenance, I had a $500 check, but I'm never going to see that money, so... <clears throat> yeah man so anyway yeah so i mean it's you know it's nothing bro i'm gonna make it past it you know what i mean whether i gotta go local somewhere or you know um well i already know i have an opportunity i've already gotten approved um through safety and everything they're just waiting for me to get a truck right now waiting to get a truck to put me in so Hopefully, they can give me a good truck that's going to be decent, that's going to run well for a while so I can run up some money. And, uh, you know, I love being out on the road, man. I, I love being able to just, like, start somewhere and um, go somewhere else. You know what I mean? And just all the time. Like, I, I feel good when I can just leave every two or three days or just go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Or if there's anyone in, anywhere in the country that I want to go, I can still go. So, basically, I'm just living rent-free at this point, bro. Like, that's pretty much all it is. I'm just living rent-free at this point, bro. And not really making any money, but I'm not really spending any money as well. So, um, yeah, just going to chill back for the next few days. Hopefully, I get that call, work out, and, and chill, bro. That's pretty much the only thing I, I'm going to do at this point because it's... That's a smart thing to do anyway, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. But all right, man, y'all take it easy. I just want to give y'all a little update on what's going on with me. I'm about to drop this load, and uh, then we're going to head out, man. And um, relax for a few days. All right, man, y'all take it easy, man. Um, if y'all know any companies, good lease companies with uh, good lease purchase programs, add them in the comments as well. Um, and, uh, no, we'll see. We'll see what that what they talking about. All right, man. Y'all take it easy, man.